we're going to start by looking at uh, GDP growth. So this is the the economy's economic growth for the last 20 years. And you see, I'm going to split this up into three decades. So we had the 90s. In the 90s, economic growth was quite fast. We had about four to five percent economic growth. Um, and Australia was growing uh, quite quickly. That's been attributed to lots of things. Uh, strong microeconomic reforms, the strong growth in Asia, the strong Australian development making Australia quite competitive internationally. After 2000, pre-GFC during this period, Australia still grew quite strong. So on average about 3 to 4 percent. Sometimes higher, sometimes slower, but generally 3 to 4 percent. Still quite strong up until the GFC. The GFC came along here. It was quite a big slowdown. There was a slowdown in the year 2000 um, over here as well, but it was very sh sharp. It came down uh, very uh, quick. It came down, recovered very quickly. GFC, it came down, it didn't quite recover as much. Okay, so there's a difference from post GFC, 2 to 3% economic growth. So you can see in those three decades, the economy has been progressively growing slower and slower. It's maturing, it's not quite the fast growing economy um, that it used to be. And then we have the Australian. Uh, budget balance. And here I've got three lines, sorry, one, two, three, and uh, four bars. They indicate which uh, periods or which years Australia had a negative quarter of economic growth. And you can see they correlate with the budget going into deficit, the budget going into deficit, the budget going into deficit, and the budget staying in deficit. And they do tend to correlate with uh, where the budget's at. And you can see it's a very large period of deficit around here. Prior to that, you had uh, quite a few budget surpluses, but these were very much due to the mining boom. Um, and uh, uh, after that, you had a big loss of revenue uh, following the GFC. 